is recording now mm. so what we are going to do we will write the psvm first of all right so i want the payment system right mm. so what i want is that there i i have some order right i have some order of a flight or something anything we can take in hotel or some other stuff and i want to make sure that i have some price so there is some class okay, which we will give the price right or the amount that i need to take from the user right get amount let's say that this thing should come from some other team as well right from the flight team or this thing and mm. let's say that this is the flight team code right or oh, is out we are saying that okay selected flight selected flight and then selected time slot of flight and then the payment payment uh, should be started right mm. then there should be a payment Last right, and I I just need to to make sure that we are able to do payment right. Yeah. This should return whether the payment is successful or not right. So it should return a pulling. I'm just doing this right now. Okay, see, is payment successful? Okay, it's it's very <laughs> embarrassing. I just forget what's the spelling of success. S U C C E S F U L L I. Double S. I think that's correct. Success. Okay. <laughs> Java is saying otherwise. Let me Google it now. Now we both. S U C S C double C E double S. Come again. S U. Double C. S U C C E S S F U L L. So that's what we have written, right? Yeah, that's what. Okay. Okay. Then to S U C C E S S F U L. Then why it was showing here? S U C C E S F U L. Okay. Okay. I think. I have okay one L extra I have put. Cool. No sir, here double. Oh yeah, one L. <laughs> correct, correct. Okay, okay, all right. Cool. So, <laughs> so let's go to the payment right. So it should show how much amount, and then payment should take an amount. Right. Uh, the hmm. amount should be double in nature. It will be different, right? In in the real environment, it will be different. It it can be a big integer. It can be a big decimal. Right. Hmm. So now we are just taking double. Double, double can take decimal values, right? Yes. So let's say that it's hundred, hundred dollars, hundred or ninety eight point seven six dollars. Cool. Hmm. And the payment. And now we need to write a payment class, right? Hmm. Because now over here we'll write a payment. Payment. And now we know that payment or do payment I need to do, right? Hmm. And also the thing is. Even though it it will not be a part of flight team, right? Because it would be a part of payment team, which payment gateway it need to use, right? Hmm. But we are and it will be selected from the. I mean, it will be defaultly selected in the payments by the payment team. But right now, just to make sure. Okay, okay. Let's let's write it down first in this way. If I want to do this, right? Payments and do payment, right? Amo. If I write a class directly and say public. Static, do payment right, and return a boolean, and then I need to take double amount right, and just return true, and just print out the payment successful right. <laughs> this is the thing, and now if I try to run this. Selected flight, selected time slot, payment successful, right? Hmm. Or if payment successful, then I'll see flight and then plus and then is successfully booked. If it's true, then return success. 
process input and the voice file in the can as so if I run this again now now I will get the payment successfully booked right flight successfully booked post all these things but the thing right here right now is if I want some payment gateway to be input. Hmm. So hmm. right now this is the this is the this can be the flow if I have some balance in in my make matter account, right? Then yes. directly I can pay. But what what happens if I try to pay and if I want to use some credit card or debit card, then I I am taken to the payment gateways website, right? This is the one thing that happens. I am transferred hmm. to the payment gateways website, and then first thing I have to choose which pay, uh, payment mode I need to choose and based on the payment mode i'll be taken to the uh, their integrating partners website and over there i need to put the credit card details debit card details or if those details are al already with the bank or uh, with the uh, uh, make my trip then i need to enter the otp only right hmm. and post entering the otp i will be redirected back to the hmm. make my trip right? yes sir. so this is how the flows go so our flow is not created to handle those things right hmm. so what will happen i need and then the thing is i can change the payment gateway the the change changing of payment gateway let's suppose that a razor pay they are using and hmm. with uh, and one day they are using razor pay and after a few days they think that razor pay is charging a way more amount to them so they can switch to the paypal hmm. so it depends so what we want is instead of i mean the the best thing would be if it is selected in the back end of the payment stream that which gateway to choose but the thing is over here we will we want to send the data of the payment gateway from here only right that we choose x payment gateway or y payment gateway so what we can do so along with it we can enter the payment gateway also that we want to choose so to fix this or to solve this thing we need to create a complete architecture right based on which we can change the payment gateway hmm. so what will happen so let's see now see this thing will take time to understand because it's a skill that one needs to master <coughs> so we are going to create a payment system okay we are inside the payment system right so let's try so let's rename it Yes, this is public if I don't write public also then also it's public by default right hmm. so now I want in this payment this class payment I'll put there right this payment class I'll, I'll put later on and now see what happens that uh, I need to implement this method right payment do payment method 
this is an interface and why we write interface because someone else will inherit the interface and implement this method right we have seen that in during the interface classes yes so but over here in implementation as well there will be there will be different payment methods right payment i need to do payment that payment can be done in different manner right i can do payment using the credit card right hmm. i can do payment using net banking using net banking right credit card net banking upi there are different ways to do the payment right and hmm. the upi and then wallet if, if you see there will be uh, we are not going to cover everything i am just writing it down just to make sure you know there are different payment items right for let's let's take the example now of credit card so just to make sure that we are taking payment from the credit card so hmm. we can integrate different payment integrating partners right or payment gateways so let's say that we are taking world pay cc right world pay for the credit card right and if you try to google it then world pay if you will see world pay is a payment gateway right it is based on uk cool it's a payment okay. gateway so i have integrated this payment gateway in one of my firms so cool so we are going to create the payment gateway using world pay okay. now the thing is if whether i'll use world pay right regardless of world pay what are the common things which we can use while doing the payment hmm. if i want to do the payment there is nothing common item right hmm. but if i want to make sure that okay i need to take payment of credit card then whether i will take the, that particular payment from world pay or from razor pay or from some other bca these all are the gate payment gateways so the thing is the way the way to make the way to communicate with these payment gateways can be different but the logic that the user follows will remain same right hmm. user will be ineffected by the integration that we have done with the payment gateways right user has to put the credit card details then fill the otp and the transaction will be done right hmm. yes sir so, so there will be a common class right, that needs to be there so payment cc is payment credit card right hmm. but it needs to implement payments right hmm. so now we have force payment cc to implement do payment right if cause this is not a class right this is not an abstract class so hmm. but we are going to make it abstract so to do payment we are not forced to write the do payment right so now and the cc is not going to be okay okay not bad so this payment cc okay let's delete this class and okay 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 we can just do this we can just bring back the class payment cc okay it's not going it's go it's just saying okay we can just world pay cc we don't want it inside the world pay cc right. the package has changed and that's it and it's going to be made by okay no, i want it there only okay if it don't want then i can remove it and uh, let's add the more thing bca instead of fair let's say bc as well now i can write payment cc here and it will be a class it will implement in the payment interface and this class should be abstract <coughs> it will implement this cool right so payment cc i have taken out and why i have taken out the reason is whether i'll make i'll integrate with the payment cc or whether i'll integrate with the bc right So regardless yes, of that, I want some operations that can be common. So it can be commonly handled by payment CC, right? Hmm. So what I can do, the first thing 
that I can, the, what, what would be the common thing for what will be the implementation of a credit card? The so first, first I will give the number credit card number. Yes, we need to take the credit card details, right? Yes, sir. It will be take CC details, right? Okay. Then. Then pin. Okay, okay, that would be in using the credit card details only. Okay, OTP. Yes, but for OTP, the thing is, user should be redirected to take the OTP, right? Yes. User redirection to gateway. Gateway, right? And then the OTP will be validated by the gateway, right? Hmm. And then gateway will let us know that validate the payment has gone through or not. Gateway yes, sir. Response validation. Response validation. Cool. So these three things needs to be done, right? For a basic <laughs> payment transaction. But out of these three, we can check that the this thing, this payment details, right? Take credit card details. It should be common. So if it is common operation, because the user redirection can be different, right? Hmm. It would be razor pay for razor pay, right? It would it would be word pay website for word pay, right? It will be different, right? So whenever we are integrating, then we will provide the user uh, the URL where we need to redirect the user, right? And then over here, the response validation also some might give us response in some other JSON format. Some will provide response in some other JSON format, right? Hmm. So the validation part also cannot be make made common, right? So the only out of these three operations, the only thing that we can make common is taking credit card details, yes. right? Yes. So instead of yes. abstract, making an abstract, let's provide the details, right? In abstract class, we can write the logic, right? Yes. Concrete methods. So over hmm. here, just print out that credit card details received, right? Received successfully. Successfully. Cool. So now these two things are the only things that I need to take care of. Otherwise, everything is fine, right? So now what I want that if I go inside the world pay, world pay, world pay CC, cool. CC is credit card. Now I need to extend a class which will be payment CC, right? And hmm. when I got the payment CC, I will implement the methods. Two, two payment method is there, then reduction is there, and then validation is there, right? Hmm. These three methods are there. So let's just print out that redirection successful, successful to, uh, 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 this is world pay, world pay, world pay gateway okay and let's make every payment successful right yes. received response from world pay right and add successful received successful response from gateway cool this thing this thing this thing now these things are all created and should done with so let's just write few lines here. Now, first of all, called call take credit card details, right? This thing is from payment CC, right? Inheritance. Yes. And then we'll call user reduction gateway and we call validate response, right? Now what will happen? But this thing cannot expose to the user, right? This will be a jar which will remain with us to the runner or to the flight team what we will provide we will provide a we will provide a helper so a helper we are going to provide so so so, so where to write the helper okay let's create a package payment helper and then payment payment helper we have created cool so 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 
this view. Okay. So okay, not not you. My bad. Sorry. So I'll make a I'll take a static of method and boolean I will return and do payment and but I will take I'll take a payment interface object payment and amount double double amount so over the payment here is abstract interface yeah. cool. so now what I'll do I'll, I'm just going to make a call payment dot do payment and enter the amount right so the do payment don't have amount right now so double amount cool. we're not using um, right now with the amount cool <laughs> So the yes. payment class, so payment, we are not going to use the payment, right? We are going to use payment helper. Payment helper, the do payment. And now we need to make sure that we send the data. The amount is there, right? Amount yes. is already there. Now we need to send a gateway. Hmm. New. This is the thing that one needs to know. If oh my bad. If I'll try to send world pay, will it work? Yes, sir. Why? We have world pay function. World pay is a, is it, I call the constructor. See, payment helper has a method, do payment, which takes an object of payment, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then, if I try to call it with using world pay, will it work or not? Each, I have no idea. Each, it will work, I think. See, okay, my bad. Okay, what's the issue here? Implement. Yes. Okay, okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Over here, double amount. I have changed the signature of it, right? Cool. No, it's fine. So the thing is, the do payment method takes payment, right? Payment. Payment. Yeah. Payment is an interface. So payment is extended yeah so interface we cannot create an object object of interface right we have got the data yes. in previous classes hmm. so and then i am i'm trying to send an object of world pay cc right new hmm. world pay cc I'm, I'm i'm sending an object of world pay cc if you are unable to understand it so let's say world pay cc and equals to this right so i'm sending an object of world pay cc will it work or not It is expecting a payment interface object. I am sending world pay CC object. Yes, because payment object, payment interface object cannot be created, right? Yes, sir. Interface object, object of interface cannot be created. Hmm. So what I, I have to do, I am sending over here the world pay CC object. But will it work or will it give an exception to me? Sorry, come again. Uh this code will work or not it will work why because uh world pay cc yes world pay cc is uh, it will work but i couldn't tell why it works see what is polymorphism runtime polymorphism overriding yes yeah, means uh, overriding the fun functions or methods. Yes, during that we have seen one thing, right? That parent class, parent class, right? Reference, yes. parent reference equals to new child class, right? We have covered this concept. Parent class reference variable can hold child class object. Yes. So Fair. it is expecting payment, hmm. which is which is parent of world pay. This yes. is the payment, right? Which yes. Is, yes. It is yes. It is 
it is an ancestor right now was hmm. payment C, world pay cc exchange payment so this is the father and this would be the grandfather so we can call them ancestors right yes so world pay cc as a parent one of the parent is payment right so yes, it sir. can hold it right hmm. the same concept is there hmm okay wait a minute no 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 where is the क्लास Yes. So if I run the okay, 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 there will be an error. Okay, I need to return to. I'm saying that payment is being done, right? So just return to hard coded. So see what will happen now. Flight is selected, time slot is selected, credit card has been taken, redirection has been successful to the World Pay okay. Gateway, and then received successfully there, and this is also done, right? Yes. So what usually happens if I want to change the gateway? Hmm. This thing should not be changed, right? It should yes. be, it should remain same. Hmm. This is the requirement that if payment stream is changing something, the flight teams need to do nothing to to get adjusted with the payment stream changes, right? This is what we expect in the inter-team communication, and that's why the microservice exists. Cool. So let's yes. suppose now I don't want to use the world pay. So where is runner? I don't want to use the world pay, right? Hmm. I want to use BCA. Okay. BCA payment gateway. I'm writing code here. The reason is this data will be from used from the backend, right? Hmm. This, this won't be. I'm, j- I'm just writing it down over here, right? So hmm. the BCA payment. If I want to change BCA payment, equal to new BCA payment. Oh my God. Okay, we haven't created a class, right? BCA payment. Right? So BCA payment, right? So this is the line that that has been written by the flight team, right? It should not be changed. It it will it should remain same, right? Even the hmm. class that we have provided, we have provided this class only, right? Hmm. We haven't provided anything else. Just this class to our payment stream. That please use this and do payment method only. And it it don't show what what's happening internally, right? So the BCA payment I need to write. So I will write how. See now it will become easier to implement the BCA. Because inside the BCA, I will go. I will just do BCA payment, right? Yes. And okay, BCA CC payment. Okay, let's not add CC. Because BCA will pay CC. So let's add CC because it's a part of CC credit card. So I will, I will extend payment CC, right? And then I'm false cause of inheritance and abstraction. an interface abstract keyword and an interface i am forced to provide implementation of these three methods right hmm. now but the thing now see it becomes easier for me again to just make sure take credit card details right and then use user redirection to the gateway and then validate right and over here what i'll do i will just write redirected to so a uh, uh, pc gateway Gateway and over here just successfully received payment by BCA gateway. Cool. Got it. Yes. Sir. Now see what happens if I try to run it again. The code. I need to just. I have commented out. Okay, my bad. I have committed out the world pay CC. Okay, it, why it's not taking BC payment? Okay, because BCA CC is there, right? All the BC CC, right? And now we need to send the BC CC, right? Or right. even just not let's not change it. Uh, let's change this to payment the strategy. Right? So this is strategy design pattern that we have implemented. Strategy. And 
payment strategy and payment strategy okay. hmm. because we are using same variable now we don't need to change this again and again right if i try to run this then earlier i was using the world pay cc gateway now i am using bc gateway right hmm. and it was way too easy for me okay why is this okay it was easier for me okay yes it was easy for me to implement because the basic structure was created already right yes. i just implemented these two methods right but the mm -hmm. thing is being a senior you will write this design right the payment cc class and the payment mm -hmm. interface class you will write right and mm -hmm. again i haven't followed a convention the payment it should not be payment it should be i payment okay, okay yeah i get to mm -hmm. represent the, it is an interface right so let's go again so the thing is if you if you write down this logic right so uh, this mm -hmm. thing the bc this world pay cc will be integrated by the junior developers right the bc and mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. you will just write the interface you will the being a senior developer you will write the pay, okay you will write the payment helper you will write payment cc and you will write api this i payment right mm -hmm. now the thing is being a junior developer if he's he, he's a fresher and he don't know how to write the code see one thing is uh, one thing let me show you first that now it's become easier hmm so where is runner 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 okay runner is there why runner is not being displayed okay it's, it it is being showed as flight and then runner cool so if i want to change the payment gateway then it's this much easier right now it's world pay right directly right it's it's become easier to change instead of writing the code i i will just change the code and and it's not even a part of lighting right it's a part of payment stream hmm so easier to change the payment gateway one thing even in our code as well we just have to comment out one and then run again a uh, different one right hmm and the other thing is so this is the easier thing and in real life what will happen the payment code will remain same this thing this will be changed in the back end right Hmm. Not in the front end. In database, we will update that we are using payment CC, world pay CC instead of BA CC, BCA for the payment gateway side. Right? Hmm. So in database, we will update the thing and refresh it with our cache, cache systems, and it will be working properly. Now the thing is, being a fresher, if someone is uh, writing, if some fresher write the code of this, and he don't know. Let let suppose, credit card is way too common, basic integration, right? But hmm. in Indonesia. we can pay using the atm okay atm work as a uh, internet cafe where you can just go and there are sites registered for this payment mode and then if you i mean let's uh, example in make my trip you try to book a flight right then you will say that i am going to pay using an atm then you will be given 15 minutes to an half an hour then you need to go and find some atm in in your near pay area and then log in you with your credit card and then then go to a section pending payments and then click over there and then approve approve over there and this is the way the atm mode is done in indonesia so if someone is new let's say for example or in japan what happens you can pay using the palm you can scan the palm and then you can pay so so let's suppose someone is from uh, this indonesia and he don't know how the credit card works right so let's suppose he yes. change this this way Right, he changes in this sequence. Cool. So, so your voice is breaking. I'm saying that inside this class, this is visible to you, right? Yeah, yeah, it is visible. So the take CC details is 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 for the sequence. Right? Hmm. Let's suppose there is a fresher who don't know how the payments work, especially credit card, and he just hmm. changed this sequence, right? Hmm. Hmm. And then hmm. if I try to run it again, then what will happen? See over here what's happening. Flight selected, great. Time slot selected, great. And then directly received payment from the world pay, right? And after yes. that, you are taking credit card details. Hmm. This thing does not make sense, right? Yes, sir. Without credit card details, how can you, how can you try to? Hmm. Right now, we have hard coded that every payment is being successful. But in the real life, hmm. if you try to do this, then every payment will be failed, failing, right? Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So this thing does not make sense, right? And the fresher can do this kind of task, right? And hmm. this, what will happen? Then being a senior developer or being a tech lead, if you are responsible for the code review, you need to make sure that okay, everyone is following the same thing, right? So you hmm. have to waste your energy in these things again. 
but as we are a seasoned developer we, we are not going to do this we'll say that okay you are a fool and we treat the fresher as a fool because there might be the business logic that they, they don't know or there might be some technical things that they don't know right hmm. so we uh, have the responsibility to groom them as well so but but the thing is i'm not going to waste my time i will do, i will do the freelancing i will teach people instead of doing that because mm-hmm. the person might not be interested so what i'll do i'll i'll just make my nights tension or stress free i'll take this thing out of the world pc right mm-hmm. i'll take this thing from every integration right i will take this thing from this here also cool why then i'll go to the payment cc right and hmm. inside the payment cc what i will do i will make i'll make this sequence here right this thing i'll write it down cool hmm now the world pay cc whoever is integrating the world pay cc he don't even know that he needs to he can override it right Hmm. when he when i remove this i will only get two methods to override right hmm so he don't even know that he needs to override okay cool and now if i try to run it then the sequence becomes fine again right right it's hmm. correct again cc hmm. but let's suppose there is some developer who wants to be sassy right hmm and and he says oh i need i know how to read these things but he is still dumb so he just override this right again hmm. override this and this can be overridden right hmm again yes. it will happen then he has overridden this and then if we try to run it what will happen it is going to be change yes it's again going to be change cause of the override right because the hmm. closest ancestral if the property is within the child then it will be used otherwise the parents property will be used right Hmm. So if he try to be sassy, then hmm. we are being a senior developer. We can be more sassy, right? I can just hmm. write final directly here. Then hmm. if we try to run this code now, he will get an error, right? Hmm. Now he cannot change hmm. the code that he is written writing, right? And now if this code comes to me, if, hmm. if this code won't compile, right? Hmm. And if we try to compile the code, and if the code package is other than the world pay cc if he try to change trying to make change in core core or the engine payment engine right so <laughs> i won't allow it right because a fresher cannot make this kind of changes and over <laughs> here he cannot make it right even the code will not compile right so again my i can successfully sleep in my dreams because the sequence cannot be changed <laughs> right so this is how we write the <laughs> code. and this is A strategy design pattern. Why it's called strategy? Because during the runtime you can change the way mm. the your code will work, right? Mm. So the thing is, even I, if I'll say that okay, use the world pay CC, then it will redirect you to the world pay CC, right? The implementation has changed. If yes. I'll say the BCA, then BCA you will be redirected to the BCA. So strategy design pattern is way too common. If you want to create a login, or if you want to register a uh, user in your website, right? So. Mm. you need to register a website right so it means you need to fill in your database user first name last name email phone number right hmm. so now to take this data there might be different strategies one thing that you will directly take this those details in your website right other hmm. thing is that you can make sure that you get the details from the gmail login hmm. other thing can other thing can be facebook login other thing can be x login right hmm. so all these things of for login might be different right you need to redirect the user to the facebook login page or x login page then they will give you the user or data there might be a thing that facebook will give you the fb username right data is you no know, fb username and then the username uh, nikhila hmm. and x can might give you x and hyphen and then username nikhila right so hmm. you need to provide those methods right so to create the user to create hmm. the refactor user or to create the make my trip user from the um, response that x.com or facebook.com has given us Mm-hmm. so this is again called the strategy design pattern based on the website that i want to log in through mm-hmm. the strategy of our code has been changed right yes so that's why it's called strategy design pattern all right mm-hmm. we'll end yes. our class here i will upload the video in a